In a previous video called How to Compare a Set of Data Measurements to a Target Value, I showed you how to test if the average or mean value was close to a specific target. In this video, I will show you how to test if the spread of your data is close to a target value. This test is called the One Sample Standard Deviation Test. You may be wondering when you would use this test, so I'll give you several examples from different areas of a business. Suppose you work in IT and your team receives requests to grant employees access to computer systems. You wonder how consistently your team responds to these requests and whether your team is becoming more or less consistent in the time taken to complete them. Suppose you work in human resources. You wonder about the variation in the time taken to set up a new employee record in your core HR system or setting up the employee's payroll. Finally, suppose you work in manufacturing, producing loaves of bread. You wonder how consistent your manufacturing process is today versus what it was last year. For all of these scenarios, if you have a target value for the amount of spread you can tolerate in your process, you can use the one sample standard deviation test to compare your sample data to that target value. Now I've just referenced the phrase sample data. That's because for all of these scenarios, there's no need to collect data on every single IT or HR request, nor any need to weigh every single loaf of bread. A random sample of data will serve us well enough. So let's head over to my computer and look at some data. I'll use the weight of bread for this example, but this statistical test works exactly the same way if the data represents IT or HR request times or anything else you wish to measure. We've randomly picked 100 loaves of bread and weighed them. Their weights are recorded in grams. First, let's just pop up some descriptive statistics. What I'm showing is actually the Minitab program. So if I click here, Stats, Basic Statistics, Display Descriptive Statistics, I've selected my data, and click OK. So the output here is actually showing me that I have 100 measurements. The average weight is 298.9 grams. And then it's actually giving me the measure of the standard deviation right here. Standard deviation is the variable we're talking about today. That is the measure of how much your data is spread. We have data from last year saying our standard deviation was 7.25 grams. We want to know whether our sample, which has a standard deviation of 7.3 grams, is close enough to the target value of 7.25 that we can say our process remains just as consistent as it was before. So let's go ahead and conduct the statistical test. If I click on Stat, Basic Statistics, One Variance, this is our one sample standard deviation test. So it just pops up an input window. We tell it that our data is actually located in column one. We're going to perform a hypothesis test, and what we are asking it to do is to compare our standard deviation with the target value, last year's value, of 7.25. So we can see from the output, it again tells us we have 100 data points. The standard deviation of our data is 7.34, just as we saw before. And you'll see it actually references two different kinds of tests. So it's running two different tests on the standard deviation. Now it's showing us that our null hypothesis, and if you haven't heard those words before, it just means we are making a supposition that the standard deviation of our data is 7.25. The alternate hypothesis is just the opposite of that in that it is not around 7.25. And it produces this output here with p-values. We check to see if our p-values are less than 0.05, and neither p-value is, so we say that we do not have enough evidence to stray from our supposition that the variation in bread weight is the same as before. Why did we compare the p-values to 0.05? Because we chose a confidence level of 95% or 0.95. The value we compare to is always 1 minus our confidence level. If we had chosen a confidence level of 99% or 0.99, then we would need to check our p-values are less than 0.01 to draw any conclusions. 
If you want to run this same statistical test in an R script instead of using Minitab, the function is called sigma.test. I'll provide a resource link if you want to read more about the sigma.test function. The one sample standard deviation test is a simple way to test how the spread of your data compares to a target value. Now that you understand the test, I'm sure you can think of many practical places to use it. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to press like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive a message when new videos are released. You can also explore the other videos in this series or visit our website for more information on how to use data analysis to improve your business.